This is some piriformis testing for piriformis uh, syndrome. Um, there's a couple of things that you can do um, to either stretch and or contract the piriformis um, to potentially make it irritate the sciatic nerve if it's already inflamed. The first one would be resisted hip abduction, and basically I'm going to put my hands on the outside of the uh, lateral knee, and I'm going to ask the patient to abduct their hips. Go ahead. And, and I'm going to provide like an isometric contraction of that. Um, a positive test, okay, you can relax, would be pain deep in the gluteal area near the piriformis, um, potentially causing the sciatic uh, neurological symptoms if the sciatic nerve is, is irritated. Another one would be to actually stretch the piriformis muscle. You ask the patient to put their leg up, up on a table like so, and then you're just going to have them squat down with their up, up opposite knee. That stretches the piriformis muscle, and they would report pain deep in the gluteal area, potentially radiating, radiating down the thigh if the sciatic nerve is irritated. Um, those are a couple of things that you can do uh, specialized to the piriformis muscle to test to see if you've got piriformis syndrome.